Hello. <clears throat> Excuse me. A good uh, Monday morning uh, to you. Welcome in here to another short morning sports stream back in NBA 2K16, my career. And we are going to be wrapping up the finals here with the Phoenix Suns today. And then uh, probably getting started into year four. Game show. Welcome to our continuing. Hope everyone had a good weekend. Uh, I know I did. Enjoyed some of the college basketball conference tournaments. Of course, had work as well on Saturday. But uh, yeah, stayed busy watching some conference tournaments and the train wreck of a show that the selection Sunday was. Uh, definitely think they need to go back to it only being an hour next year. The two hours was a little bit of a stretch. But I guess we'll have to wait and see on that. But yeah, I'm excited for the tournament to start this week. Um, just a couple things, and I'll, I'll mention something again at the end of the stream as well here. But uh, kind of to start things off, uh, first of all, um, the next couple Tuesdays, maybe longer, I'm not sure, uh, there will be... No uh, morning sports stream. I've got some work-related things that are going on. Uh, some, the, uh, uh, <clears throat> my boss wants to meet for some air checks, which basically in the radio world are just you know your typical performance reviews. Um, so I've got those going on. We're gonna meet the next couple Tuesdays. Um, so yeah, yeah. So the next couple of Tuesdays there won't be any uh, morning sports stream because we're going to meet Tuesday mornings to go over that stuff. Um, he said maybe we might only go like a month or so, uh, but uh, not quite sure. We may end up going longer. But anyway, <laughs> that's uh, that's why there's going to be no morning sports streams. The next couple weeks, so, or well, the next couple Tuesdays. <laughs> Not the next couple weeks as an everyday, just the the next couple of Tuesdays. So just be aware of that. Uh, and I'll remind you um, throughout the week as well, and also throughout the next couple of weeks. And you never know what happens, injury wise, momentum wise, a crazy break here or there. So just win this one and give yourself a chance. Yeah, I agree with you. You've got to play it through, and certainly these fans. How about them? They have not given up. Uh, the other thing is also for the next two Thursdays, you know, three and oh, come the, um, there probably won't be any streams at all because of the March Madness tournament going on, and I'm not going to lie, I'm going to be distracted by all the all the tournament games. Is out there with Hill. Then it's Paul George and it's Olinick in at the five spot. Now here's George. And after the miss from Tyson Chandler. And Chan shot. And oh, nice and he's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. He just couldn't get a hand in the face on that one. That's using what you got. He's got a height advantage, put it to good use there, and got himself a clean look. The Pacers shooting their first free throw of the so, game right now. So, <laughs> yeah, instead of putting out streams where I'm probably going to be and extremely distracted to by quarter. wanting to know what's going on in the tournament, I figured for the, sa for, for the sake of quality, it, it's going to be best no if... Just cancel the next two Thursdays, because after the next two, after the next two Thursdays, the tournament will be just primarily Fridays and Saturdays. But the next two weeks they have some thir the ne the next two weeks they do have some Thursday games. That works. Fire threes coming from everywhere. Yeah, I'm not sure of the quality of that three-point shot attempt right there. Going at it the way they did, but it all worked out for him. Morris, no good. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one fall. And a wide-open look for Freak. Good, the assist goes to Hill. Superb so that's there. what will be going on the next on couple of weeks. So just be aware of that. No... Uh, no morning 
sports streams on Tuesdays for the next couple weeks, and then no Thursday streams for that one's guaranteed for the next two weeks because in by. Oh man, sorry, still dealing with a bit of a stuffy nose. <laughs> but um, after the next two Thursdays, so it'll be March. This Thursday, March 17th, and next uh, next Thursday, March 24th, and there won't be any because any at all because of the tournament. But after after the 24th, the games pretty much go to Fridays and Saturdays because at that point you're hitting into your Elite Eights, your Final Four, and of course your championship games as well. And so it looks like the Suns will retain possession. So, yeah. But I figured fair warning for everyone, and that way, as I mentioned, the stream quality won't suffer at all from my distraction of March Madness, because this is one of my favorite times, and I, I think a lot of people who like uh, basketball and sports in general, I think this is one of everyone's favorite times of the year. March Madness. I mean, it's so crazy. It's so exciting. Upsets galore. These small schools coming out of nowhere and beating these big schools that you think they'd never stand a chance again. Ah, we all know March Madness is great. Yeah, I mean, if you ever watched March Madness before, of course. If not and you like basketball, highly recommend it. Here's <laughs> Knight. Following the basket by George Hill. Bledsoe kicks to Morris. And a great assist by Bledsoe as that one goes in. And after missing four straight, he finally gets one to go. You know, I don't remember the screen. Tyson Chandler being there the first couple of games. Goes back up. Oh! And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Chandler. Indiana making some changes. Turner's checked in for Kelly Olinick. Stucky comes in for Monte Ellis. I could be it's wrong. Jeremy Lin in for Hill. I may be imagining that. I mean, it, it, it has been. Stuckey. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. Three days? Got his first pass. Yeah, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So. Easy bucket. It has been three days since I last streamed. I can re be remembering things wrong. Inside, here's Valanchunas. Ha ha, Valanchunas. With the no. Stucky outside. Division out to George. He feeds it to Moore. Outside, oh, look. Lynn's wide open. Shot. And, of course, he misses. Right here, George. Oh, no, never mind. Take that shot. Hey, Mr. Rai Rai. The Pacers have shot just one free throw early. One for one in the game. That free throw, no good. Ah, George, hit your free throws. making a change here. Booker's checked in. That's off as well. So he misses both. Wow. Gotta hit those. Screen by Valanchunas. Takes the three. The shot is off. And it's the Pacers taking it the other way. They are pumped right now after a big win on Sunday. And the deciding factor in that one was their success from the floor. I mean, they just hit big shots time and <laughs> time again. Nope. Yeah, just the way you want it. Hey, good attempt at trying to stop me. Don't even give nope. the fans a chance to get into it. Or are you dunking on everybody? Did you break? Did you break the backboard? Fast break. Here Shatter the glass. Stucky's got the ball. More with the bucket. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting. Ooh, I've got a new badge. Knight into the lane. It's tipped. Turner with the steal. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. No good off the back of the rim. Phoenix has gone three of five from three-point land so far in the ball game. Feeds it tonight. Here's Lawrence, and the rebound goes to the Pacer. I guess you could have just pulled the rim down in general. Shaq did do that. Outside, Lynn, and Moore kicks to George with one on the clock. 
and no good trying to get that one. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Pacers lead by nine. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. Okay, I see. All right. Ah. Uh. Just that physical elbow play. Okay, I see what you're talking about now. And let's hear from Tyson Chandler. He talked about what he brings to this team. I do a lot that doesn't show up on a statue. Eh, Shaq did part. hit a lot of Chandler's people the kind of player all with his elbows. Their team. He's <laughs> the definition, Greg, of an unselfish player. About his ego or his stats. And, and, and he knows that and, and prides himself on it. That, that also makes him the kind of player his teammates appreciate so much because they know nobody wins any rings without a guy like Tyson Chandler on the team. <laughs> Agreed. And it was and it wasn't just like tiny little Welcome elbows. <laughs> it was big Shaq muscle again. elbows. And of course you, you wouldn't want to take those. Guys? What do you think? Just I wouldn't want to guard him either because of that. We're able to go out and consistently come up with the block shots like they have defensively. Well, what happens is shooters begin to start looking for the shot blockers, and it does intimidate them. On the court for Indiana. Yeah, that's and a bad shot. Four. Jeremy Lin is out there with C.J. Miles. Then it's turn, and it's Hill in at the three. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Well, Kev, Freak, in the last matchup against the Suns... I was really hoping you broke the backboard. That would have been great. As always, piling up rebounding but of course, rebound these well. days, really the way the they're designed, hey, Doris, it's thank you. It really was not as easy to break the backboard as it once was. And if he can come anywhere close to another performance like that here tonight... It would be amazing. Yeah, it really would be because you know now the defense is going to be focused squarely on him. <laughs> They're going to make sure that he doesn't beat him again. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Up with Doris from the sideline. Yeah, definitely when hey, you Kevin, when you throw break, elbows and you play as physical as Shaq did, uh, there's freak. no doubt at all that, that you're to going to cause a few scuffles. <laughs> They're not going to wait for halftime. They heavily on the few, right away. but you're oh, you going Kevin? to cause right, scuffles Doris, throughout thanks. your career. Now, here is oh, that was a bad mistake. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for Indiana. And so far, these guys have done a fantastic job finding the opening man. And oh, yeah. Back. Shaq is broken their presence in the paint numerous tonight. amounts also, of backboards. Of scoring to this point, coming from down I think low. he even did it in a practice more. once. I remember right from him. seeing a video of it. On the wing hill. Just five on the clock. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Shoots from 12. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. Just impressed with the team. I remember the one where he did dunk so hard that the the playing is one unit out there. Now here is more. The the rim it, itself, the whole entire basket fell down because he. He jarred the sports loose. 14 feet away. Rebounded by Moore. It's just Moore's the baskets like the these that are set up and, um, you know, not hanging off or from the wall or anything. And, this huge lead. and it's been a well rounded Yeah, I remember to he took one of those down. down. <laughs> been at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. And yes, sir, that one drops. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought without any individual agenda. Yeah, and it's really fun to see that kind of unselfishness. Really hard not to appreciate all the assists they've racked up. Nice check in for Phoenix. The Pacers also with a sub. 
Monte Ellis checked in for CJ Miles. Here but when you dunk with the power it's Olenek atop the key. and the weight that the Shaq had, whoops, that's my bad. And now let's give you a momentary the lapse of what side of the ball I was on. High percentage shots in the playoffs. Freak number one. Some but anyway, yeah, when you dunk with the weight and the power right with that it. he did. Five points in the game. <laughs> Morris with a the, he's one of the reasons probably why the they Here's changed uh, how they the made backboards in that. So they stopped and having to replace them. To the middle. Here's more. Good. The assist goes to Hill. Hill's got his fourth assist in this one. The number or at least as often today is um, eye -opening as they had it to. It really is, Clark. The defenders need to do a better job of closing those lanes to the hoop. Here's Drake. And so oh. the foul on the shot on trip to the line to shoot two. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Wanted a clean block on that. At the line for two. And the first one drops. The Pacers making a switch here. George has checked in. Both good from the line that time. Pacers leading by 10. Charge! And he makes Ooh, nice, nice dunk. dunk. Punches it down. Beautiful. Rubs it in. It looks like a little deeper with the hanging finish. I tell you what, they are not backing off at all, are they? Knight dishes the blood cell. Tonight. Well, are we just, just gonna dribble the now? They set the pick. And the Suns miss again. So Plus exciting. Rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double digit advantage on the scoreboard. <laughs> They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more Who was that? Oh, was so Brandon far. Knight. <laughs> Taking it to the rack with power right there. It just no knocked one. him over. With a two handed slam. Just piling on the oh. <laughs> Like you boop. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm dunking here. The sun's making a change here. Booker's checked in. Sun's trail by 14. Now Knight, five points in the game. Passes uh -oh. it to Lawrence. Good thing Lawrence is not a three-point shooter, but he is going to drive to the lane. Action there from the defense, and he is always going to finish that one. Pacers leading by 12. And more kicks to Olenek. <laughs> oh, go up for a dunk, Olenek. Olenek's got five now. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. That's Slam it home, you wimp. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Now here's Booker. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Not able to find it here in the second. He's off stride and off track just a bit after that one he had earlier. George with the ball. Defended by Booker. And the basket by Olenek. Another pass put right into the <laughs> pocket, right in the shooting pocket for a terrific assist. They've done a lot of that today. And it's something we haven't seen much of at the opposite end. I'm starting to believe the that in this Smith. game, very well executed. Olenek's jaw all kinds of space has an unnatural One between the shot clock and game clock and so it looks like the uh, hinge really on it that he just unhinges his jaw every time he opens it up. Stolen. Dodged a bullet there. And the Suns making a change here. Balanchunas has checked in. Indiana also making some changes. Turner's checked in for Olenek. Stucky comes in for I mean, Ellis. I don't and know if... Ooh, Hill. that... Stolen what was I thinking Bunsell. there? If he just has that large of Nine a mouth? The Shoots it up. Or if the nine. game That's exaggerates things just a little he bit. Have drained. Stucky! Oh, should have gotten it up to Jordan instead. And so that brings.
Welcome back to game four as we get ready to start things up again. You look at Freak in this game, he has been everywhere. Uh, unbelievable the way he dominated that offensive glass. I'm a maniac. It was just a great effort for him for the entire half. Guys, you've heard me say it before, but persistence pays. And it takes that kind of persistence to be a successful offensive rebounder. As a fellow glass eater, I know of which I speak. Looking at the looking at the playoffs here, don't give up on reminds me that fantasy basketball playoffs start this week for me. Manage to just sneak in. Hudson hits them both. I was like, I was like the Bulls this past week. I was, there are six teams that make the, make the playoffs in my league. Oh, but I was the seventh seed because I'd lost four straight heading into the final week. I just had some injury problems and not really finding a roster that worked. Indiana shooting their fourth attempt. Look at that. The last week I did find a good roster. Um, got some good free agent pickups. One of them playing the Phoenix Suns here. One of them was Devin Booker. Here's more. Who's been lighting it up lately. He has really shot the ball extremely well. As you'd expect. Like we say, he's been making sweet string music all day long. Now here's Bledsoe. Misses the layup. But still, I needed somebody in front of me to lose. To go and the, the the fifth and sixth and seeded teams were both winning 10. their games the by blowouts. And, and it looked like I Clark. wasn't going to get in. But I completely forgot to look at what was going on with the fourth seeded team. That team ended up getting blown out in their last week matchup, which, uh, and I blew out the team in my matchup because I was playing like, the 12th team in our league. So I ended up blowing them out, and the other team got, the fourth place team got blown out, which gave me one more win than them, and I jumped them in the standings to sneak in as the sixth seed, and they fell to the seventh seed. It's like, yes! So now it's time to make some noise and pull some upsets. <laughs> Hopefully Jimmy Butler's knee is fine now. I know he's supposed to play tonight, or he's listed as questionable, but reports were saying that he was going to be back for tonight's game, which will be a big help. That's what's been hurting me, and I, I think I need to make a suggestion to the league commissioner next year to add an I, uh, at least one IR spot. There are no IR spots in our league right now. And that's what has hurt me the last four weeks is losing Butler and not being able to replace him. And that's now seven points for Brandon Knight. So I think I'm going to suggest that for next year is adding at least one IR spot. Hill kicks to Moore. It's back to Hill. Pass to Moore, the 17 footer. Ah. So Phoenix will take it the other way. Knight into the lane. But I'm matched up with the third seed, who was one of the games I just lost five to four. It was one of the games in that lost like four straight stretch. Lost to him five to four. So hopefully with the new roster and Jimmy Butler returning and hopefully being around for this entire week, I'll be able to pull off the upset. Hills checked in to the paint. Oh, Linick, where are you going? Ah, I never rely on you for anything. Morris outside. Knight wide open. And the Suns miss again. 
been a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's cost. But so yeah, hope it, hoping that I can uh, pull pull an upset this week. Move on. I've got a pretty decent team. I've just been battling a lot of injuries this year, losing guys for the season. Guys like Jarrett Jack. Guys underperforming or performing well for a while and then dipping in production. It's just kind of been up and down this entire year for me. Hopefully I've found a little bit of consistency here. Whoops. Easy to see who's going to win that race. Yeah, early offense is often easy offense. Excellent work that time. On the wing hill, three-pointer. That is good. Hill's got six. That shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed. They've got to get more intense. It would be nice to pull an upset. The feed now to Chandler. Near the three-point line, it's Morris. Can't hit. And Indiana will go the other way with it. Six seed wins the whole thing. <laughs> That'd be what I talk, I'm talking about. 22 points for Freak. And an open path to the hoop there. Easy bucket. We've seen that far too many times today. More as a screen. To the paint. Chandler trying to free himself up. Off target at the rim. Pacers leading by 21. Get the ball inside. More passes to Olenek. And a miss there on the triple. Oh, Sons no one ever wants to hit their shots when I pass to them. Well, except for Paul George Hill and Solomon Knight. Hill. They seem to hit the shots I pass when I pass to them. They say it was last touched by Hill. So an entirely new group in now for Indiana. Mm, most of the time. Kelly Olinick. CJ Miles comes in for Hill. Rodney Stuckey's checked in for Monte Ellis. And it's Jeremy Lin in for George Hill. They set the pick. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. And he gets it to go. Well, I like the way they That's a wide open the look there. Right in the middle, Too in the easy. There's a minute left in the third. Lynn dishes to Moore. And Miles kicks to Moore. He feeds it to Lynn. In the corner, Stuggy with it. Lock at six. Oh, Lynn look. Moore. All right, well, that the wasn't the right shot there. I initially had, and I can't believe I missed that team. one. Bledsoe outside. A double team Bledsoe. And stolen by Stuckey. Intercepted. Shot clock and game clock. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. There's the dish to Moore. Puts up a three. And that one's good. Buries it. Moore's got 25 points in the game. Just look at what a sniper he is from long range. He's got such an unusual <laughs> skill for a big fella. Left side, Knight. Bloodsoe outside. <laughs> Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. <laughs> the Here, take the ball! The books, <laughs> and this one all but over already. <laughs> Welcome back as we get ready to start the fourth quarter. Not exactly a oh. nail biter here, but you never know. The oh. sun shooting just 34 percent from the floor. Oh, the five let the me flop. To start the fourth quarter. Let Stuckey me flop. And George make up the perimeter. Everybody Turner do the flop. With Freak, and it's Lynn in at the five. I'll and get it eventually. And you can just see he's a different player since coming back from halftime. Indiana leading by 19 points. Stucky dishes to Moore. Inside. Back to Stucky. Feeds it to Moore. And George kicks to Moore. Passes it to Turner. That's a wild shot. I and mean, he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. 
Allen Jun is with the ball. Out defended by Freak. Once so, kicks to Knight. Stolen by George. Moore passes to Stuckey. Right side, Lynn. Shot off the pick. Basket is good. The Shush. assist from Stuckey. Stuckey's got three assists tonight. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for Indiana. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. You know, adding on to that, yeah, you look at their good shot, good tonight, shot. And you see how feisty they've been on the defensive end this game. We are. Indiana making some changes. Kelly Olynyk comes in. Morris checked in for the Pacers. Hill comes in for Jeremy Lin. Pacers leading by 22. We are farmers. Bum, ba, dum, bum, 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 bum. More left side. He dishes it to George. Kept alive. Ah! And Olynyk kicks to George. More against Chandler. There's the pick. George dishes to Moore. Kicks it to Ellis. Tries yet again. And he gets the jump. There the we go. Ellis has got nine points in the quarter. He's got so much junk in his trunk. He'll find a way to hurt you. Junk in the trunk. Chandler with the screen on Hill. What so? And he didn't get nope. enough under that one. Hey, they got the shot they wanted off of that pick, it. but it just inside. doesn't fall. Yeah, it didn't Swish. Go down, but you'll take that shot every single time, Greg. That's good offense. Well, there you go. I mean, if they're going to keep giving up open jumpers, Swish, swash. they're going to keep getting swoop -ity swoop. Here is Bledsoe following the basket by George Hill. And another miss. Oof. He's having a really ugly got game. It. Yeah, about inside. as ugly as you can have. You're right. Moore passes to Hill. Here's the floater. He takes it and lays it in. <laughs> and wow, that's the end of an <coughs> epic journey. See if I can maybe both hit teams. that triple double before fashion. the end of the game. Get the NBA title rings ready, folks, for the Pacers. But Steve, you know, you don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, Clark this, this kind of punishment. To well, you know what? I thought they did a nice job of playing against the game. They kept the pressure on, and clearly I'm close in every area. And what a huge standout performance it was. So Three. close. Every time he shot it, it seemed like it was going to drop in. And if it didn't, everyone was surprised. Here's Bledsoe, following the basket by George Hill. Can't connect from short range. I wonder if switching baskets really Hey, 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 hey. Oh, that's probably going to put me out of the game, though. And you can see he just yeah. squared up with his feet. Ah, uh, Bledsoe, you ruined it for me. And they've done it for new NBA champions. Oh, well. Well, they did it. And as they celebrate, we're the NBA champions. The, the exhilaration that comes with winning it all. And Clark, you have to hand we it to the entire organization. Are the champions. They work together to get right here. And guys, bow, bow. The fan base. I mean, I know one thing. They're going to enjoy this memory for a long, long time. And this is exactly time with you how I would celebrate. Yeah. This is yeah. Huh, 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 huh. Have a wonderful <laughs> summer. I'm guessing since they're showing all these highlights that I have been named the NBA Finals MVP. Oh, there's a shot of Paul George. Oh, there's one of Olenek. Back to George. Woohoo! <laughs> Kyle Singler all happy. Oh, yeah, MVP again. The big two right there. Myself and Paul George. Accolade unlocked. Win the NBA Finals MVP award.
badge unlocked, championship DNA. Win the championship title. A lot of accolades coming in. Oh boy. Well, I'm definitely interested in returning to the Pacers. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go play for the uh, 76ers. So, like, the Bulls throw their... Throw in their two cents. You know what? Just for nostalgia's sake, we'll throw the Hornets in there as well. Wow! Let's see if I can get a little bit more money. Oh! No, I, I just want more. No, not more minutes. More money. Let's see. Mm, the bulls didn't move. So I'm going to decline. I'm going to hold on the Pacers. We'll see what happens with the Hornets here. Ooh, maybe I should have asked for just a little bit more money from the Pacers. I might have gotten it. Hmm, but I think I'll return to Indiana. One, two titles. I'm pretty much the face of the Pacers right now. I mean, why not return? Go another three years there. We'll see what damage we can do. And then reevaluate the situ situation after that. Definitely should have asked for more money for the Pacers. Oh well. And endorsement smarsh marshments. Ah, okay, let's go take dancing lessons with Al Horford. Why not? <laughs> Ooh, I should have gone with the practice. The bar on the attribute upgrade just went down. Okay, I do have that new badge here. I know it's here, so there it is. Ooh, I get a speed boost. I love that championship DNA one to see the where the, the double teams are. Nice. Cool. I'm a mentor now. Like being a mentor. I want to check uh, roster. 
See if we made any major changes. So Hill, Ellis, George, Moore, Turner, Lynn, Linick, Hill, Miles, Scott. Oh, we added Amari Stoudemire. Interesting. Must be a rookie. Yeah, this is our draft pick for this year. Still have Singler. And for the most part, same team coming back. Some few changes towards the back end of things. Wonder if there's been any like really major shakeups anywhere. Guess we'll find out, but as for now, let's get things underway here. Year four. Here we go. Sports pregame show. Hey everybody, I'm Ernie Johnson, and trick-or-treating door-to-door with me tonight are Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Happy Halloween, everybody. Trick-or-treat, give me something good to eat. For tonight's game, we'll be watching the Boston Celtics as they go up against the Indiana Pacers at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. Taking a look at the Pacers, they put in a whole lot of hard work and preparation in the offseason. We saw them already in the preseason, and now all those adjustments get put to the test for a game that's going to count, and they're hoping to start out 1-0. And here we are, opening night of the new NBA season. Every club at this point can be optimistic. Some teams just looking to make the playoffs, others with much higher aspirations, Kenny. Yeah, well, some people would say that you can start with a clean slate, but then certain people are saying we're building off of last year. So this is a continuation. But whatever happened last year to some of those teams who didn't get there, reach their goals, they just can wash it out and start. But there are certain teams saying, yes, we are who we were last year and watch who we are this year. You want to come out the gate strong. Ernie, I think we're in for an exciting year. And it was a pleasure seeing you in San Tropez on, on our vacation. <laughs> yes, sir. That, that's it, a nice aqua machine you it got. It was very surprising to see, to see you there, uh, big fella, too. That was, uh, I was it not was memorable. invited. How'd oh. you like my bathing suit, Ernie? Yeah. <laughs> well, let's get it to Kevin Harlan. Hmm, Shaq in a bathing suit. And just a little bit of a disturbing image, but I guess if he's in swim trunks, it wouldn't be so bad. Oh, it's a ring ceremony. Nice. <laughs> oh, there's his grin. Yeah. Serious face. Yeah, serious face. Cracks a smile and then it's like serious face. I'm just smiling the whole way. We're good, man. We're good. Look. 
at that. Second banner that goes up there. Welcome basketball fans. It's Halloween and have we got a treat for you. Ooh, it's, it's spooky. The of the NBA season. Ooh, and thanks for joining us here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Craig Anthony Boys, nice and Clark night. Kellogg with Doris Burke reporting from the sideline. We'll see the Indiana Pacers defending home turf in the Eastern Conference. This, of course, being game one of the season, is their first look at the Celtics. Well, they we definitely can't lose this game. Not a good matchup for them. Don't want to lose Banner Night. Season series. And, and even though they're one of the top teams, they draw the season ah. series to this squad. So sometimes matchups play a role. Yeah, sometimes Brick. Do, but I don't think they're interested in, in looking at that. They want to come back strong and show they're the better team this time around. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. On the floor for Boston. Selinger and Zeller are the duo down low. Thomas is the point with Bradley to his side. And it's Crowder in at the small forward position. Now here is Hill. George with no one around. No good from outside. Oh, come on now. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. Banner night. Let's get her act together. Bradley with the ball. He's picked up by Hill. Are we all too emotional? Selinger, the screen. Rub some dirt on it. <laughs> Seller against Turner. Six on the shot clock. And Zeller kicks to Selinger. Oh, no. And it's off from Woo! the three-point range. Here's more. Oh, and to go. what? And the Celtics going the other way now. Ooh. Would have passed it to me sooner. I would have gotten a little more space it there. It's stolen by Hill. Go, Hill, go. Go, Hill, go. Drops in the break. Yay. And really, once he got that steal, just really Wait for it. Everybody do the flop. That's why turnovers the flop. are so costly. Do the flop. Because in many cases, they're indefensible once possession changes hands. Here is Thomas. Following the basket by George Hill. Here's Sollinger. Goes back up. Ah, the that's my good. bad. Sollinger's got his first points of the night. And that put back about as easy a bucket as you're going to get. Exactly what happens when you don't box out, Greg. Here's more. Good. The assist goes Here's here. more. <laughs> well, Mary There's Christmas, another basket. That was a freebie. The Celtics have gone. Because he's just that game good. Started. Now we'll go to DB who had a chance to talk with head coach Brad Stevens. Doris. DB. For them to be successful, Kevin, he said they have and I quote, a swarm oh, of George angry Hill coming up there with the big the block. The post. If they don't collapse on their post threats, he knows they're in for a long game. Guys? And thank you, Doris. Leaps for it, and that's out of bounds. Indiana will retain possession. Well, yeah, yeah we score. retain possession. We are the champions. That season Fred. Time soon. And it's bye, safe to bye, say bye, well. anyone who watched him. If I fight it till the end, bomb, bomb, bomb. Shot clock at five, shoots from the high post. He goes up again, and the layup is up and in. Moore's got his. Bada bing, bada, bada boom. Really strong rebounding on the interior, and he gets the easy putback. Outside Thomas, and Sollinger kicks to Crowder. Sollinger is screen on Hill. Thomas against Hill. Here's Sollinger. Trains it from behind. Oh, wow. Good shot. Sollinger's got five now. Could play a little bit better shot defense For Indiana, there. they've gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. The drive by Hill. Here's more. Good. Get in there. Points for him. Whoops. Here's Thomas. Never fails when I have an itch on my left cheek. I managed to Sollinger punch the microphone. Thomas dishes to Zeller, and the shot is good. Really nice dime dropping there. Playmaking ability is exactly what you get from Isaiah Thomas. Ellis kicks to George. The 11-footer, yes, and it's Ellis picking up the assist. Well, Clark, we've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. Yeah, we sure have. I mean, yeah, a little back and forth to start this game. game. I mean, back and forth, the lead has gone five times. Hey, so I just said no that. Clear control yet. 
And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter who can catch that momentum. And he gets it to go. Ooh, soldier. Quite the quarter here, guys. I mean, shooting the ball extremely well. George passes to Moore. There's the feed to Ellis. Let's it fly from 18. And Swish. The check on two more. That mid-range jumper is just another one of his weapons. Celtics have gone. We have a lot of weapons. This point, four of eight. We have like pew 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 weapons. Now looks like the same uh, bench from last year coming in. Must have just brought on Stoudemire for right some death. Kevin, I was able to hear the advice Frank Vogel gave to his team during that last break. He said their plan was run their offense through Freak. That may be a strategy that comes as a little bit of a surprise, but Coach is showing a lot of confidence in his ability to produce an outstanding effort today. It's still very early in this game, <laughs> so there's time for those changes to take effect, Kevin. Thanks, Doris. 133 left to play here in the first. They set the pick. Lynn dishes to Olinick. Back to Lynn. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. And now let's take a look at the stats for Thomas. Good season for him last year. Put up about 17 points a game. Six assists and... Smollin guy. Looks familiar. Oh, he's a rookie, so nope. Two rebounds. With him, you get so much, but his ability to lead the way with his scoring, probably his best attribute. An offensive powerhouse. He can just beat you in so many ways. Got to give it up for him. Much love. And he sinks the second. 124 left to play in the first. Here's Mac. Mac. Feeds to Thomas. Mac attack. Shoots from 12. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Outside Hill. And a wide open look for Freak. Step and right into an open jump. Thank you very much. Please come again line. next week. Really good awareness right there on the assist. There's the screen. There's 45 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Pass to Thomas. Huh, what, the what happened? <laughs> oh, he passed it. it oh, I'm out of position. Oof, good thing for the long oh, rebound. Kind of alligator arm that one. Short stroked it. After doing a nice job to get open, he didn't finish the shot. This is to Lynn. Back to Moore. It's Hill on the wing. More outside. Outside, Lynn. And it's more penetrating. Get in there. Come on, bounds. Yeah. Moore's got 10. Boy, what a slick job of passing from Jeremy Lynn on that one. Thomas outside. He got it up Woo. that time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Pacers out in front, leading by six. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. Celtics head coach Brad Stevens lured away from a very successful tenure with the Butler Bulldogs. He talked about the challenge of making that decision. I wonder if Coach Brad Stevens feels like he's recruiting another college class with all those draft picks. Basketball's loss when he moved on to the Celtics. Well said. Boom, 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 boom. Now the second quarter getting ready to start up. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for Indiana. You've got to like the consistency with which they're hitting that mid-range jumper. 
The other oh, thing is I got hung up. No. The been able to no. <laughs> On the court Shenanigans. The Avery Bradley is I have declared them. Then it's Jay Crowder. Then it's Jared Sollinger. Now here's Lynn. And it's Moore penetrating. Takes the 13-footer. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. He has such a nice touch for a big man. Because yeah, I'm amazing. body on him. Because if they don't match up his size, then he's going to continue to work him over the rest of the game. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good oh, shots. Not paying attention. Got distracted by the news that Jimmy Butler is playing tonight. Have been exactly of that variety. Now here's Olenek. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. And Moore kicks to Lynn. Kicks it out to Ellis. Whoa! Nice pass. Woo! Off the assist from Lynn. And the Pacers lead by seven. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Yeah, and it's really fun to see that kind of unselfishness. Really hard not to appreciate all the assists they've racked up. The offense has a better flow, and it actually looks better here in the second quarter. It does. They're playing with a little bit more bounce in their step and trying to close this gap. Let's have a look at the teams that were last year's best from the free throw line. Number one, the Celtics. Second, the Pacers. Kevin, I think the extra practice really paid off for both of these teams last year. I mean, it was obvious that they spent an awful ah, lot of time. I hate when I get an inch right where the, the free throw line. Uh, I guess and it showed up in their results. Crossbar is see their confidence built throughout the season as a group. Pitching up on the changes now for Indiana. Turner comes in for a limit, and George Hills subbed in for Jeremy Lin. Now here's Ellis. Five points in the game. Here's more. Yes, I guess if you're gonna leave me open, I'm gonna take Moore the shot. Thank you. Seven now for the Pacers. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. There's a screen. How did I not steal that? <laughs> Quarter number two. We're about two minutes in. There's the pass to Crowder. How'd he run around me? I mean, it ends up not mattering. He's a three-point shooter, but that shot was there for him, and he had to take it. Outside, George. Moore outside. Passes it to Turner. Back to Moore. The 11-footer. Got it. It's Indiana converting. Feeling it, no doubt about it. He's definitely feeling it. Yeah, that's right. right. You show me that fade ace badge. From the field. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke is across the Whoa, what the, the heck? What's going on here? Oh, it's the cheerleader is running the through the Brad camera Stevens instead of around it. Got it. He told his guys Got it. The offense needed to run through Solinger. Coach is looking for big things from him throughout the rest of this game on the offensive end. A lot of the scoring burden will fall on him. Speed well, boost. Not any time in tweaking the game plan. We'll see if it makes a difference as we approach half. Ah. Thanks, Ballocks. Ballocks. Ball's not loose, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Ellis. And now we have a chance to check out Freak here. Last season, he played outstanding. First in scoring. First in shooting percentage. And also, he was the NBA's best free throw shooter. As close as it comes to automatic. Yeah, and that's what made him... Oh, one yeah. You can't stop him and you that's really can't mine. Oh no no no! Ah! Oh. Why did I hit X? Almost always. 
What is wrong with you, Thumb? Two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Now here's Crowder. Not loose. Okay, hit B this time. There we go. <laughs> Much better. On the assist from Moore. Seven points for Ellis. And that's the kind of play you just do not want to give up. The I guess it could have lose the possession just and give up a regular quick two at the other end. That's losing basketball. Especially when you can't afford to give up any buckets. That's a nice lead. Who knows now where that's going to end up throwing the ball. Off target from three point range. And with room like from that, past experiences, that could have thrown the ball backwards. You know, they did everything right, Greg. They executed. All you want is a good look at the basket. Sometimes that was a terrible look at the fall. basket. Celtics trail by stupid, eight. stupid, 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 stupid. Crowder with it. George picks him up. Here's Bradley. A three-pointer, no good. The Pacers have gone five of seven from the field here in the second. The dish to Moore. We got what we got. All right, we'll get it over to George. George, here we go. Leaner, nope. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. The Celtics have gone four of seven from the field in this second quarter so far. Tries to snap the cold streak. Mac, no luck. Not gonna snap the cold streak with that shot. Now more. I'll take that. No problem. Woo! George has got five. And that's sort of been the story here today, hasn't it? And Matt kicks to What's been the story here today? No good. And Indiana will come the other way. Boop, 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 First free throws of the season. Well, first free throw of the season. And so we hit Nailed the technical it. free throw. So an entirely new group in now for Indiana. Starting 100%. For Turner. Solomon Hill comes in for George. C.J. Miles, he's checked in for Monte Ellis. And it's Jeremy Lin in for Hill. Now here is Hill. He kicks it to Moore. Boom! Let me nice get jam. the inside position. Oh, oh you'll learn, rookie. And Clark, now's the time to do it. Continue to attack that rim. Celtics trail by 14. Outside Bradley. They set the pick. Stolen by Miles. It's two on one. And he lays that Miles to coast to coast. And the Pacers lead by 16. And the lead continues. Who loves him the most? Oh, Chuck Norris even has a Jimmer post. Oh, sorry. Both ends. Greg, I can't identify an area where this team has underperformed. I mean, they've been five star in every category. Here's Bradley following the score by Indiana. Five on the clock. No good off the front iron. And you know, you can feel the desperation right now. They're starting to lose their composure. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's palpable. Oh, man. Lynn. Clearly, you can see oh. The and it's understandable. I mean, right now, I they're on the wrong side. I should have myself more open. Run. Better look than trying to force it inside. Close. It's the Pacers ending the second quarter with an energy burst, a 19 to 7 run. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. All right, listen up. Terrific job so far. The fans are into this game, and we're going to keep them there. With our defense, we have torn them up. I'm not sure they're going to come out for the second half. When we play D with this much grit, it is no fun to take us on. One big reason to be encouraged 
It's the scoring we got off turnovers. There's nothing that'll lift a team up like good defense leading to offense. And that's just the kind of lift we could use. And let me touch on tempo for a second. We're not out to use the whole shot clock, but I would like to see us get set up offensively. Let's not take our foot off the pedal no matter how big a lead we got. Let's take it to them. Welcome back to the second half of our Halloween broadcast. Talk about a terrific game for Freak. He's got 19 points and two steals. He's given them a lot with his passing and with his defensive work. How about the activity of those hands here today? Do 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 and it's Turner in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Oh, Hill, did you just follow a three-point shooter? On a three-point attempt. Yeah, unnecessary. I mean, they yes, he did. Points from deep. Never Those follow a three-point three shooter. Zeldick's have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two. One of the cardinal two. sins of basketball, of the in my opinion. Last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. And, you know, that just added to their confidence at the offensive end. I mean, knowing that free throw shooting was something they didn't have to worry about gave them a lot of confidence to play freely. And he nails the third. Pacers leading by 13. There's a whistle and it goes on Isaiah Thomas. B -b 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 block you know foul. Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Yeah, he was one step late that time. What Greg. was that? Oh, it's the it's the camera on the other basket. The drive by Ellis. And one. That was the third straight high percentage look this defense has allowed. I mean, these defenders have got to start bumping bodies in the paint. Be more physical. Be more aggressive. The game's just far too easy right now when it comes to attacking Whoop. the basket. They have got to do better. Nice ball movement by Boston. Nice ball movement. Now here's stop. Defended by George. That's good. Oh, Turner. Six points for Got out of position Zeller. on that it, one. It really does make the game easy for your teammates. When Get you off me, soldier. That well with the pass. That drops. And the Pacers lead by 16. Boy, we both had open looks there. Coming from inside the paint now. That's right. Hill did end up getting caught up. We're on the interior. Out of had a They've wide open dunk at the basket. Present. Now here's Thomas. Kicks to Bradley. A shot by Sellinger. Wide open. It's good. My bad. Now five for nine. Pacers leading by 14. More outside. Pass to Hill. Uh. And you saw how... Quick the defense ah. was ready for him. They got the hand <laughs> in the face there and made that much more difficult. Yeah, and every team needs that kind of rugged interior defense because you want to try to distract your opponents when they get inside, and you also want to make them uncomfortable in their shot attempts. You know, nine times out of ten, he's going to knock that one down. He'll spray that one on you. Moore passes to Ellis. On the wing, George. Yes, wow, he should have gone up the inside to Turner. Ellis has got three assists tonight. That's three of four here to start the half. Run the fast break. The you got it, coach. The list of last season's top three-point shooters. Already Tiggs. At the top of the list was such a huge accomplishment. What a year it was for him from behind the arc. Scotty's checked in for Turner. And the Celtics with possession here. It's a 16-point game. To the inside. And he banks in the layup. Room service Already. right there, fellas. Yes. Wonderful entry feed. The Pacers have gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the hand. More dishes to Scott. Zeller oh, grabs Scott. the board. Zeller's got his third rebound tonight. Thomas with the ball. He's picked up by Hill. Thomas kicks to Mack. There's the pick. Back to Thomas. Really, Six to shoot. I probably shouldn't have made that Puts pass. one up from 19. Here's Teagues. 
And the shot Brick. this time. Pacers leading by 14. More right side. Launches a three. Oh, what an excellent release. He has missed on three this game only. And no doubt about it, in order for them to be successful, he has got to be a catalyst when it comes to scoring. And the foul on Monte Ellis. That's his first foul. Jeremy Lin, he's checked in for Indiana. Austin also with the sub. Rice is checked in. Nailed it. Right around three minutes into the second half. Here's Teagues. No. Nope. <laughs> and here's George. He has seven. It's Freak, top of the key, to the middle. And, and one. Oh. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. How did he nice, miss that? Finish there. Nearly a three point opportunity. Full throttle pedal to the metal attacking basketball. I like that. The Pacers have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. Taking two shots. That free throw good from George. Looking at the game for George. That's a one-up. He has eight points, and he's Can chalked up one three-pointer on nope. the day as well. And Clark, I'm sure that won't be the last one. A lot of times, he can get hot and stay hot from beyond. Solomon Hill, he's checked in for Indiana. <laughs> 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 Lynn against Thomas. Moore outside. He dishes it to George. Ah, George Hill's gets over a there. From Moore. Solomon Hill, that is. Over there Just playing a little shooting shoot. guard tonight. George passes to Moore. Back to George. Fader. George has got five points in the quarter. I'll tell you what, we've seen some nice buckets by George. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. Outside Thomas. Boston, no good that time either. Oh, yeah, we were supposed to be running the fast break. I mean, the way he's going, it's probably not something he should try and shoot his way out of. Hey, he's still got an A-plus well, for say it. you should shoot your way out of it, but his teammates probably have other thoughts in mind. The last thing they want to see him do is continuing to cast that jumper up. You got it. Let's get the ball More with it. 22 points for him. Outside, George. Back to Moore. Let's it fly from 18. That ball's not Drilled it. that time from George. 24 points for Freak. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Pacers. We've seen them make the extra effort from a defensive standpoint, closing out airspace and sending shots back. They haven't wasted time getting the ball up the court tonight either, and it's resulted in a lot of fast break points. They can't guard us on the perimeter. Let's spread the floor and isolate up top. Spacing, fellas. Spacing. See the stats for Paul George. Last season's performance. For Barry Wooden. Two assists. Good old Barry. Rebounds. And I think he's got to be pretty pleased with his outfit. Hi, Barry. And you know he's always looking to push himself. Barry. Yeah, you know, really solid numbers across the board here, Greg. I mean, he contributes in a multitude of ways for this club. Hi, Barry. Changes now for Indiana. Olenek, he's hey, Barry, you Mike missed. Scott. And it's C.J. Miles in for George. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady with their work on the interior. Really a well-rounded effort. Oh, and that one's good. I scooted back nice too much. Work on the inside, hard to get that one up and, and get over. Myself the big fella. Good position. Well, it's not supposed to be easy down there, and a little artist oh. on the inside helped him make it happen. Thomas dishes to Mac. Here's Wooden. Terrific design on the pick play, and he lays it in. 
They are just killing them. Okay, we need to calm injury. down here. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive side. enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Oh, Miles got a good look. And once again, ah. by Indiana. You know what? You just cannot get much better of a look than that one. Exactly. I mean, no way you expect him to miss that shot. You love it when a big man has those soft hands. Rarely any problem converting that close to the rim. Right side, Lynn for three. Hill, the basket goes off the assist from Lynn. Lynn's got Very three assists impressive. in the game. Booga booga! The shot is off. We welcome you back as we get going here in the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change oh, everything. You get a rest? What is this madness? Peace. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. And Mack kicks to Thomas. Boston, no good that time either. He's giving them little to nothing at the offensive end. I can't put it any other way. George with the ball. Now Thomas defending, and Thomas over to help. Oh, he did get the jump ball. Ah, that's my bad. I shouldn't allowed the jump ball there. So it's the Pacers now. Well, at least I won. To Out to the right wing. Lock at six. More dishes to take two. it, Turner. Cans the shot with nobody near him. Textbook, nice pass, great catch, even better finish. Turner seems to be snapping out of that rookie funk Dallas. here last two so games. Which is good for me. <laughs> Again, for fantasy basketball purposes. Oh, heartbreaking this shot. Quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Thomas against Moore. Hill kicks to Moore, and he throws it down hard with one Very hand. close to getting that one, Sollinger, but not quite quick enough. On the rim. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Did he just go chop, chop there with that one hand? Chop, Tom chop, on chop, chop, bada, bada, boom. The Pacers never making boosh. the shot really left alone that time. That's seven points for Isaiah Thomas. And he's shaking off that slow start, giving them a boost here in the second. Here's Crash the boom boof. Hill drives in. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. That's 28 points for Freak. That's their third straight make off an assist. I said that Great once. Ball move. Crash boom boof. Thomas is during the podcast. Here's Mac. He's guarded by Ellis. Sollinger is screen on Ellis. And Mack kicks to Zeller. Clock is at three. Mullen for three. It's rebounded by Indiana. Moore's got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout. A dominating performance for the Pacers. And they could do no wrong today, Steve. That's right. This was a I remember we were talking about Clark's fullest capability. Yeah, and a very satisfying win for him. Some too. team Again, being a train wreck. On the other side, definitely one you want to forget as soon as possible. And is their first official I was saying something about the train no derailing and setting the tone and going the crash boom. This four game and I and wanted be a fight, Greg. I didn't want to say boom again and go crash boom boom those games take on a little extra and i just ran out of words so i went crash boom and then somehow managed to come up with boof game it was for freak a big part of their success was his ability to keep the i couldn't think of one really quickly so i just made the one that came just made the first sound <laughs> and boof was the first sound Oh, we laughed for a good minute on that one. Thomas kicks to Sullinger. More with the ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Ah. We win. Outside Hill. Ah. 
So no problem for Indiana. As <laughs> and they into in. the they crowd it goes. Game going away. They were the better basketball team, Clark, by far tonight. Nope. We're the greatest basketball team ever. The two ever. Post the greatest show. team ever. <laughs> Ernie Johnson here again with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny Smith. Without further ado, let's present to you our Jordan player of the game, Freak. He led the way tonight with a double-double and was a major reason why they won tonight. His effort and intensity gave them the boost they needed. When Freak puts it all together, it's no contest to who the best player on the court is. He was outstanding tonight. And that's it for our broadcast here tonight. But we're just getting started on a new season in the NBA. And the Pacers have already won the championship. Yep, that's why we the Pacers have already won. Don't even need to play the rest of the season. We win. Ooh, career total fast break points. Total games played as a starter in my career. Yay! Woo! 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 Boom! Yeah, still got plenty of boosts left. What a fan photo op with Allen Iverson. Yeah. Screw practice. <laughs> See if we get a picture of that. Oh, we don't get an actual picture. Yeah, because I'm totally going to redecorate with that 76ers backboard. Ooh, a matchup of the Eastern it's Conference the Finals. Sports pregame show. Hey there, and thank you for joining us on 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson. This NBA season didn't take long to get interesting, but these two gentlemen have always captured our interest. Say hello to Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Hello, Kenny. Hey, how are you? Hello, Shaq. In this game, we'll see the Atlanta Hawks going up against the Indiana Pacers. For Indiana, they got their season rolling with a nice win in their first game. Now we'll find out if they can build on it and open with back-to-back -back victories. And one of the guys we'll be seeing tonight is Al Horford. He's not a flashy guy by any means. Um, has never gotten all that much national media love. But Shaq, wouldn't you say he is as solid a post player as you'll find? You know, he doesn't do anything with flash and doesn't have the big contract, but he plays like it. I just want to say muchas gracias, papi. He's from Dominican Republic. Oh, muy bien. Well, he does everything you want a post player to do. I mean, honestly, he passes the basketball. He can handle it off a rebound. He moves it, post moves. He does have to, he's improved his outside shot. But the only thing I would say is, is improve being more aggressive. I'd like to see Al at times try to get 30. And that does it for us. Muy bien, again. Thanks Mucho, for tuning in. Muchas gracias. And we'll see you later. De nada. And there's your Spanish lesson for the day. It's Friday night. And live on 2K Sports, we're going to bring you the NBA in all its excitement. It's Friday night. Kevin Here's a mascot twerking. Clark Kellum and Greg Anthony. We'll see the Indiana Pacers or defending at least a poor in the Eastern at Conference. And this matchup with the Hawks, it's their first game of his the butt. season. Well, you look at last year, they just could not find their footing, guys, against this team. They dropped all three games during the season. Yeah, and, and interesting history. Okay, anyway, moving on from the dancing mascot. In the regular season, but rebounded to take them down. Let's get the on playoffs. to the game. Well, the question, Greg, is this. Will their fortunes reverse once again? They'll try to stay on the winning end tonight. 
Looking at the starting five for the Atlanta Hawks. That is Corbett not a good guards. start. Millsap at power forward with Horford at the center. And it's Cephalosia Looking to get a little revenge field. here. And they get the first bucket. And they'll hope that sets the tone at the offensive end going forward. It doesn't always work out that way. Ooh. That is just what a dirty defense. little spin they move. I'm pretty sure that was not the plan to give him those kind of baskets. I'll keep and you my dirty little spin move. He'll set a screen. They set the pick. Outside T, five to shoot. Step back shot. Can't get it to go. Excellent D there from here. Of course, he can't get it to go. It's an awful and shot. The Pacers now. Their last game, a win against Boston, looking to carry it into this one. And then in that game, guys, I mean, the beneficiary of what was some very lackluster defense being played against them. Agreed, guys. It was really quite shocking and disappointing. Whoop, whoop. How many Where am I going? Who am I guarding? Guess I'm guarding Al. Following the miss by Ellis from deep. Aha, Al. Now here's Hill, the fast break opportunity. And that one's good. That's a quick bucket there. Solid in transition. Well, you know, he the chance to get out and run. And we could see right there why he does. Now here's Teague. Pass to Millsap. That's good, and so Teague with his hey. beautiful feed off the bounce to his team. Just ignore there. how that Nicely pass done. even got there in the first place. Hill kicks to George. With the teardrop. Rebounded by Suffolosha. Should have been there for that rebound. This game for the Atlanta Hawks, it was a win against Orlando. And Kevin, you know, they showed how important it is to have a strong bench. I mean, when you are on the road, that depth is vital. I think they really utilized the second unit to extend their Ooh. offensive assault and just really wore good down shot, their opponent. Good shot. And guys, I think what you saw from them throughout the game was teamwork. This is a team. Regardless of who was out there on the floor at any given time, they got it done. And that has to make you feel good as a group. More rejected by Millsap. Dang it. So accidentally wow, tapped the X button too many times, so I did a double Ellis. clutch. Millsap kicks the tee. Back to Millsap. And it's Corver off the drive. Here's Horford. Hawks passing it around. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Yeah, the defender all over. Greg, he got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. The Hawks shooting their first free throw. Right and at the line last season, about 78% as a team. Pretty solid numbers. And you can't take those numbers lightly, fellas. I mean, their free throw shooting made a difference for them in a lot of their games last season. Good. And really just <laughs> unselfish I'm going to take advantage of that. That's the kind of pass a coach Sorry, Cephalosha. Ooh, I'm only at C+. Plus. Horford with a screen on Hill. And Teague, here we go. The Hawks again can't hit. Great looking defense, really, just to disrupt the rhythm on that shot. Yeah, really turned it from a simple, straightforward look into a very difficult shot. And the call will be against Al Horford. That's his first he, he. Indiana making some changes. Solomon Hill, he's checked in for George. C.J. Miles comes in for Ellis. And it's Jeremy Lin in for George Hill. Now here's more. Mm. He had a three-point outing their last game against Boston. And three blocks on the game as well. Ah, He's Sessions. That's a new addition for the Hawks. Here is Miles. They trail by one. Moore right side. Outside, Lynn from the arc. And he gets the bucket. Show whoosh. They let him get that wide open. We've got 155 left to play in the first quarter. Schroeder kicks to Yarebko. They set the screen. I remember Josh Smith being with them. Could be wrong, though. No, that's right. He was in New York last year. Okay, so he's a new addition as well.
Smith against Hill. Tries from 10. The rebound by Turner. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. And a wide open look for Freak. Ah! Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Thought I could get that. In the corner. I Smith was wrong. Kicks it to Schroeder. Goes up on the wing. Good. John Smith's got his first bucket in this one. most efficient scores in the NBA from last year's campaign. Freak number hey, one. Hey, that would be spot me. Everyone on that list had a great season, an outstanding season, and had a few things been different, their order on the list could have been reversed. I mean, a trade happens or doesn't happen, maybe an injury to a key player. Any of that could have affected where these guys ended up on the list. And Indiana making a change here. Olenix checked in. Moore with it. He's against your Rebco. In the corner, Miles with it. Good. The assist goes to Hill. <laughs> Miles has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. CJ. Trail by Miles. This is it to Pekovic. He feeds it to Schroeder. Back to Pekovic. Good. Pekovic has got his first basket of the night. And really just led I to his promise I'm okay. For that finish. Stolen by Schroeder. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. And he gets the bucket. And another. Ah, your face is bad transition defense. Are we gonna have tonight? I'm not quite sure, but I'm willing to bet it'll be more than a few. Now here's more. Pass to Hill. Smith against Moore. Oh! Free throws coming up as he misses that one. He's drawing the whistle on a lot okay. of contact there. Okay, good. It's going to be on Josh Smith. The Pacers shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Worried there. That was a little off to the left. And so Moore nails both of them. We're seeing today what makes him one of the best free throw Very good. among the league's big Very man. good. 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 cheese. Now here's Schroeder. Moore with the block. Ha! <laughs> I got a block for that? <laughs> one quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Pacers lead by one. And don't go away. We'll... Let's take a moment to hear a little bit from Josh Smith about his development throughout his NBA career. I don't want to hear it. Blah, 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 blah. You kind of hear that growth in his voice, don't you think? And it's it's interesting to hear Josh Smith effective uh, about himself and his game at this point of his career. You know, that's a great point there, Kevin. Without a I show. Mean, like, All like right. He says he really has grown tremendously as a player, as a teammate, as a man, and just as an adult person in society. And he's become a real credit to our game. And off we go. A close game. Now starting the second quarter. How's that for a show? Break down the game, guys. Coming up with a good steal there. Indiana. What do you think? And just the way they've been able to pound that backboard, I think that's been the difference. Establishment of a good low post presence, a big part of the success. Moore, he's in a power forward. Oh, Jordan and an Dallas. emphatic block. And it's Paul George, and it's Olenek in at the five down low. That's the five to begin the second yep. quarter for the me to put on a show. <laughs> Let's put on a show. Line reporter Doris Burt. Doris, what do you have? Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Celtics got down to business. He finished with 30 points, and he also did his work on the backboards. Corver. Stellar defensive play as well. Truly impressive numbers from him in a stellar performance. What a special night. 
All right, Doris, thanks so much for the report. You had to just marvel, guys. Ah! was able to do that night, didn't you? I mean, you know what? It, it was the game of basketball being played Sorry, at its highest Hellenic level. Sorry, no, no shot from you, but their MVP was Coach wants me to put on no a show, so I mean, got to do it. He and his fans will remember for a long, long time. Or for the pass to Teague. Lock at six. Rebounded by Moore. Moore's got his fifth rebound in this one. George dishes to Moore. No one. Swish. And it's a five no one near me. Lead. That's Field what he was about to say. Bumped up into the high 50s now. And when you're shooting like this, you should. Well, he would have said no one near him. Outside Teague, fires from the line. That's good from Horford on the assist by Teague. <laughs> big height advantage right there. You know, it's <clears> tough <throat> to bring a big man that far away from the goal, but that might be a mismatch they're willing to live with. Hill against Teague. Freak sets a screen for Hill. And the foul called on Paul Millsap. That's his first foul. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Yeah, but he was late to get there, Greg, so the referee couldn't give him a free pass on that one. Turner's checked in for Indiana. And Moore kicks to George. Rebound, Atlanta. That's my fault. And the foul called on Freak. That's his first foul. Mike Scott's checked in. Oh, for the now I get to sit here and mull it over on the bench. Outside hey, Young. Team. Hey, Lynn. Now here is Cephalosia. Defense right on him. Five to shoot. Millsap passes to Cephalosia. Shot. Three for three. With the second. That's a wall. That'll do it for the first half. Hello. We are the Indiana Pacers, and we will go to the show of the shows. Do -do -do. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Here we go now, the start of the third quarter, welcoming you back in a closely contested first half so far. You look at Freak in this game, he has been everywhere. Yeah, the effort and intensity. Including right there. Has, has just really been superb. No, no, no. Firing up his team. Guys, I love his activity, patrolling the court, blocking shot after yeah. shot out there. Four blocks. He's really made a statement at the defensive end. No wonder and I'm on the floor on fire. Mike Budenholzer starting the second half. Millsap at power forward with Horford at the center. Teague and Corver are the guards. Whoa. And it's Cephalosia in at the three slot. Offensive rebound. Four. And that one is good. <laughs> Corver. <laughs> <laughs> Moore's got the first bucket of the third here for the Pacers. Outside Teague. Takes it from 10. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. And out of the gates here in this second half, they have not started well. 0 of 3. And Moore kicks to George. That uh, basket pushes the lead works. to double digits. George has got six points. I love the killer instinct he shows right there. It's killer instinct. Pew, the pew, bam, bam. Come on. Teague against Hill. Passes it to Corp. He wants to get the Millsap and does. Millsap, when will ball. you learn? Sometimes rest can do more harm than good. It certainly looks that way for them. They've been cold coming out and have yet to find the bottom of the net. His shooting has been outstanding. You're definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. And Millsap. Oh, again! Give it up, Millsap. Leading by 12. A three. 
Nailed that one. To go on the assist by Hill. And that's 15 points for Freak. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist numbers. And theirs are fantastic. Just beautiful when they play the game like this. Boy, I tell you what, the complexion of this game would be completely different if he shot the ball anything like he's capable of. Oh, those are curses, chances. Corver. Almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Picked by Horford to the inside. That's the wall. Millsap misses. His touch has disappeared. Poor Millsap. He just hasn't been able to get it going. To the paint. Oh no, poor me. Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes played. Here's Millsap and with the block. And as it goes out of bounds, Atlanta. Even when I'm not out of, he still gets blocked. Way to keep up the tradition, Turner. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> great. I love it. Poor George. Poor, poor Millsap. First and three point field goal percentage. And he was top five in field goal percentage. Never settling, always working to get a good look. And you're right. Not only did he dial it up from deep all year, he did it with tremendous consistency. Corford dishes to T. Shot clock at six. Here's Horford, and nothing is falling for him right now. Indiana leading by 15. You got it. Get the ball inside. Left side, George. More with it, and it's oh, uh, Mills with I the missed steal. Ellis in the corner, and then I threw that. Ball way too late. Teague against Hill. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Hill against Teague. And it's sent back by Hill. Block party. Ellis goes in. And you can and one. The with a chance to make it three. Nice work on the inside. Hard to get that one up and over the big fella. Well, it's not supposed to be easy down there. And a little artistry on the inside helped him make it happen. Solomon Hill, he's checked in for the Pacers. Jeremy Lin comes in for Hill, and the Hawks will go for a different look here. Nikola Pekovic is checked in for Horford. Millsap finally getting a well-deserved break. Awful game. In for Kyle Every time they get Probably like, on, don't put me back run, in, Coach. I don't want to play anymore. I'm done. Yeah, they have really owned the interior. You've got to collapse that defense and force them to beat you over the top. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, do, 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 do. an update from the sideline. He used the word patience several times in describing what he'd like to see from their offense. It's not a run and gun approach he wants from them. There's still plenty of basketball left to play. And as we watch how these adjustments play out, Kev, it'll be interesting. Thanks, Doris. Shimmy, shimmy. Eyes to snap the cold streak, and it's Smith missing. Nope. Well, cold streak continues. The There's a glaring discrepancy between these teams in that area of the game. And it's been the difference. That's what's enabled them to build such a big lead, Move no doubt ball. about it. it they set the screen. And more kicks to Hill. The 11-footer. And two ah. the shot. The Hawks trail by 20. Schroeder, no good. Excellent D there from Hill. Got it. Down low. No! Pass break here. Here come the Hawks. Here Smith come the Hawks, the, the mighty Black Hawks. Oh, wait, Ron Sport. 104 left here in the third quarter. And it's Jerebko, top of Ron the Sport, key. Wrong team. Six to shoot. Here's Schroeder. Connects from three-point range. Schroeder's got five points so far. Man, that is not an easy shot right there. I mean, he had to get it off over a much taller defender. Yeah, he needed to add just a little more. There we go, finally. Because of the size mismatch, and he did it perfectly. 
You know, usually teams go on runs and it comes from a lot of layups and dunks, but that's not the case here. Well, it's about rhythm, and they put this run together on the strength of their mid-range jump shot. <laughs> they might as well be layups with the way they're shooting. You can't sure just found some life to get here. that kind of a look. Well, you know, he came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you've got to do a better job of fighting over and through that. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. The drive by Hill. Here's more. Oh, that is. Wow. I barely put any on that. And that's now 19 points for Freak. Well, they've gone I guess when you're hot, you're hot. Been a big key. It really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their passing. Ekovic! And from that range, if he senses the defenders have backed off, forget about it. From deep. Oh! What a shot! <laughs> Three points at the buzzer. Definitely an answer to prayer there. Can't stop me. Ba -da 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 -ba -da -ba -da Can't touch this. Welcome back. Fourth quarter action starting up in what has been a one-sided show. Wow. Oh, I love hitting those buzzer beater threes. Pacers leading by 19 points. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. And so in the game for the Pacers. More in it power forward. Ellis is out there with Hill. Then and Jordan. now, just and like George yeah, all the, the times three. before, we walk all over the Hawks. Schroeder with the ball. That's Hills the ball. there. Horford, no luck. Indiana's gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark. The shooting the three ball well. Here's the screen. Hill has the open look. He hits the back <laughs> iron and sinks the shot. Take his Boy, seat. what a half from the field they're having. They're Your table is ready. They stay this high. <laughs> yeah, they've taken it up a notch. Clark looking very confident right now. And Orford wide open. He shoots. And the Hawks getting another basket right there. One minute now into this fourth quarter, and uh, Indiana shooting has been outstanding in this game at 58%. Hill dishes to Moore, and that one goes out of bounds. Nope. Last touch by Millsap. Still missing ball. Here's Ellis. Get off of me! The Hawks trail by 21. Now Cephalosha. The dish to Schroeder. Picked by Horford. Off the screen. And that one comes up a bit short. And with a game like that off the pick, you have got to knock that one down. Well, you know, they did everything right, Greg. They executed. All you want is a good look at the basket. Sometimes the shots just don't fall. A nice shot by George. Just too dangerous for the shooter to leave alone from beyond the arc. The Hawks have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Here's Schroeder. Oh, I can't believe I didn't get that. There's been a change that. in his game compared to what we saw in the first half. I mean, he's scoring with a lot of confidence now. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. And here is Hill. Move the ball. Stick they set the much. pick. Now the pass to Moore. To the paint. Got a piece of Dang it. Millsap with the steal. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. Feeds it to Cephalosha. On the wing, Corver. Else, else, switch. Back to Horford. That's the call. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two I got the rebound. The throw line here. <laughs> well, just take a look at what Horford's done tonight. Nine points and the one steal. You know, as tremendous as his stats are, what I've liked most is just the effort he's put into this game. And, Clark, he's worked his tail off at the offensive end, and his D, it has been on point. Pick up by Hill. The feed to George. Yeah. 
to the middle. Here's Turner. Good. Great unspoken communication between teammates, leading to the nice assist and oh, an easy it. score. The Hawks have gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Pick by Horford. Schroeder kicks to Millsap. Loses his man. Oh, you finally got me, Millsap. You finally and, and that's got why me. It's so important to really be a good screening team. You get a lot of open looks it. from it. More against Millsap. And Chen shot and nope. with the layup. Moore's got 18 points just in the second half. Really nice job to convert the putback opportunity there. Good I mean, block attempt, though. That play from start to finish. That's something we say about him a lot. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pacers will take Yay, I forced the turnover, even though it doesn't give me any credit for it. Jeremy Lin, he's checked in for Indiana. And a switch here also for Atlanta. Jeff Teague, he's checked in for Dennis Schroeder. Pacers leading by 22. There's a good screen. In the pass to Moore. Good work oh, by boo. Boo oh, on you. Here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Millsap a screen on Lynn. Teague dishes to Millsap. Oh, Millsap. Moore with the block. I uh, got him again. <laughs> and George kicks to Lynn. Pass to Moore. George dishes to Moore. Back to George. Indiana moving it around. Shot clock at five. Ellis. There we go. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Pacers. We've seen them make the extra effort from the Ah, uh, now I get to rest for Closing out game. airspace and sending shots back. They haven't wasted time ah, the ball I am the court tonight either. And it's you spooked me. Oh, yeah. I get to come so in no for the last for point five seconds. Woo! So the Pretori dog. I mean, jump in the air. Control operating for play, 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 play. Hey. Hey! Hey! The 2K Sports Post Game hey. Show. Hey! I'll do the dance. Bernie Johnson here again with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny Smith. Without further ado, let's present to you our Jordan player of the game, Freak. He came out of the locker room at halftime and was immediately on fire. That third quarter was his, and he did not hesitate to exert his will. Just a sensational performance on a lot of levels, Ernie. Too many levels to talk about. Man, in some game, he's in the background. He doesn't get the chance to be the star of the show, but not tonight. Yeah. He's the star tonight. Put him on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. There was no shortage of points in the paint for him tonight. He was doing his thing, choosing his big body to create space and make easy baskets for his teammates and himself inside. When he got his hands on it, he didn't mess around. And that wraps things up, folks. Thanks for joining us. For Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the rest of the 2K Sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson. Good night, everybody. Good night. Seven blocks. Five of those had to be against Millsap. Poor Millsap. All right, what do we have here? Oh, we have a practice. Let's do the practice, and then that's where we'll end the stream for today.
99, 100, yeah, here we go, it's practice time, baby. Gonna lead things off with a dump. Okay, guys. We need to pick up the intensity. Boston drill. Here we go. I think I have to do two boss drills. So this should be fun. Foul! Oh. Aha! Victory is mine! Boom! That was easy enough. Oh, what was that? Come on. The same thing I did the last time. Nope. Victory shall belong to me. Okay, I don't know exactly what I was doing there. I was tapping the X button and nothing was happening. And then I threw up some crazy shot there at the end. Alright. Wee, where am I going? <laughs> Oh, come on! Wow. I dribble it off his foot and I get penalized for it. Nice. I think that should be a redo. Get that out of here. what I need to do dribble in turn around take a step back and take a jumper perfect executed to perfection and I get a gold result and a plus 15 temporary boost Listen up. We're good, but we could be better on the defensive end. 
Set it up. I think, what is this? Oh, it's Boston defense. Okay. That's one. It's two. Three. <laughs> Ah, I slipped on that one. Okay. Sometimes I wish this game would just do what I want it to do. There, like that. Okay, one more stop. Yeah, victory's mine. Haha, <laughs> two Boston drills, two wins. <laughs> Things are okay, looking we'll up. On the drills for now. Let's make sure we're getting better every day. Five layups. And there goes my ten shots in a row. Alright. Hit a shot at this end. Get out of my way. Must go. Someone pass me the ball. Ah! Hey! Gotta earn that bonus VC to, you know, get all those boosts. Okay, I think there's one for dunking at both baskets. Yep. Now the question is, can I get the really difficult one? All right, Steph Curry, calm down. Ooh, that one went in. Nice. Okay. I'll try from here. Nope. Okay. Oh, there we go. It's like, anybody want to pass me a ball? <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh, no, nope. Gatorade's guy's not here. All right, let's do... Hustle! Ah! Okay, silver. Ha! Ah. <laughs> Sorry for ha causing you to miss your shot. 
Well, that is where we are going to wrap up things for today. But hey, good successful stream. We beat uh, the Phoenix Suns, NBA champions, back-to-back -back years. Woo! Of course, another uh, finals MVP award for myself. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so we'll pick things up again on Wednesday for NBA 2K16. Again, just a remi uh, just a reminder that the next couple Tuesdays, until further notice, uh, there will not be a morning sports stream. So no NBA 2K16 for the next couple weeks on Tuesdays. Uh, just Tuesday mornings, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursdays. For the most part, she'll be fine, although Thursdays... Uh, anyway, we'll get to that in a second. So, yeah, uh, just some work-related things. As I told you, I got some performance reviews going to be doing um, the next couple of Tuesdays. So, until further notice, no morning sports streams on Tuesdays. And then, again, a reminder, no streams at all the next two Thursdays because of the uh, because of the March Madness tournaments. I guess really depends on game times. If Thursday's games are a little bit later, uh, not this Thursday's because this Thursday's I know they'll run all day because it's the first round. But um, next Thursday, as in March 24th, if some of the games are maybe later on in the afternoon, if they're not early morning games, I might still do a sports stream. I'll keep you up to date as uh, I look at the times and see what they are and uh, if I'll be able to do it. But uh, for sure, no streams at all this Thursday. Uh, possibly none the Thursday after because of the NCAA tournament. So, mark that down. <laughs> no morning streams for the next couple weeks on Tuesdays. And then for the next two Thursdays, uh, no... Uh, this Thursday for sure, no streams because the NCAA tournament and possibly next Thursday as well. So... Otherwise, I guess the rest of the day should be pretty normal. Coming up this afternoon, I'll be back in Plants vs. Gombies. Plants vs. Gumbies. <laughs> Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare 2. I got ahead of myself there. Uh, so, yeah, we'll be back in PVC GW2 this afternoon, probably doing some more multiplayer, uh, maybe some garden ops or graveyard ops, one of the two. But, uh, yeah, definitely be in uh, Garden Warfare 2 this afternoon. Uh, then tomorrow afternoon, because of Thursday, I will be in Battlefront uh, tomorrow instead of like the usual Thursday, because since there is no stream, and I do want to get in some Battlefront for this week. And then uh, for Wednesday, looking to be a normal day, morning NBA 2K16 stream, and then uh, Rocket League in the afternoon. So that's what's coming up schedule-wise this week. Rundown of everything else. Twitter is at 4 Sports. YouTube is youtube.com slash dsadeathandy589. Of course, you can find links to everything in uh, the description areas below, both on Twitch and on YouTube. If you are watching this on YouTube, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a good old thumbs up. And, of course, if you'd like to help support the stream, the three big ways you can do so are to follow me here on Twitch and continue to come back and watch your Yourself. You can donate to the stream to help keep things running, or you can help out by sharing the stream with friends, family, whoever. Any method is greatly appreciated and would uh, be a bit uh, a big help. I think that covers everything now. So again, coming up this afternoon, I'll be back in Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. So be on the lookout for that. See, mental checklist done. Yep. So, until the next time you decide to tune in, I will see you at that point. But until then, have a great day, everybody.